Hey everybody, I've got another workbench update for you here. It's been a couple weeks since my last one, so here's all the stuff that I've been doing. So, um, you've seen these guys before, all done. They've got their uh, videos on how I painted them, yada yada. They were just nearby, so I, I set them up. Um, in the back two corners, you'll see the uh, first two Rumble Slam teams that I painted. You saw those last time too. Um, I don't remember if they were varnished that last time, but they are varnished now. A nice uh, Vallejo satin varnish gives them a little shiny bit, uh, you know, sweaty, sweaty look. Um, but they are now on their bases, which I know they weren't uh, at that point. Um, I like these round bases. Uh, TT Combat is now going towards square bases for the new figures that they're bringing out. Um, I will continue with the rounds, just I like the um, the continuity. Um, and I like, the, you know what, they would have been fine on squares. I, if they were squares from the beginning, would have been cool. Probably would have been easier to move around the board. But I'm uh, I'm happy with the with the circles, with the round ones. So, uh, yeah, those guys are all done. And I painted two more teams in the interim. Uh, you may have seen the how I painted this video, if you care to see. Um, these are the Furry Fury, a bunch of you know, rats and giant rats uh, from one of my sons. He really wanted this team, so... Uh, they had it locally, I picked it up, uh, painted it, we got it. And we've already used them, and uh, they're cool. They're um, they're fast, and um, you know, all the teams play a little different, which is cool. So um, we're learning how to play this one, and um, we're figuring it out. And my son's got it, you know, he's nine, and he's he's figuring it out. We're, uh, we're getting there. And my other son wanted this team, the Lords of the Ring. These are all halflings with a Lucador theme, and uh, they are also quite funny and characterful, and even that big guy, so that big guy on the right, he's almost the equivalent of, sorry, that big guy, so almost. <laughs> uh, he's got low center of gravity though, so he will not get knocked down. Very cool, very funny, characterful, colorful group. Um, I might paint some um, more designs on like their their uh, hoods and maybe their shorts, but we'll see. Right now they're they're done, and we we played with them. Uh, figuring them out too. They're they're cool. They're a little different as well. Uh, bouncing up and down the ring, jumping off each other like turnbuckles. It's it's cool. And the other things that I painted were these orcs from the uh, Wings of Vengeance starter set for Aeronautica Imperial. So now we can finally play this game as well. And I think uh, we're going to try it this week. Um, I painted up the red ones first. Um, they weren't difficult. Uh, they're they weren't so bad. But lots of little details. The checker pattern wasn't so bad actually I, I was kind of wary about that but it it wasn't so bad to do um, it was more like coloring the little various little panels and that was my fault like you know it's it's I've only got myself to blame for that one and um, but I think they look good like that and I think it's uh, I think that's the orcish way right um, and then I just finished these two guys yesterday um, I'm a little less happy with them I, I do see some things I have to touch up but um, I have to be done with them. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't keep going. I didn't um, it got to a point where I kept coming back to them and I think um, I should have done one at a time uh, like I did with the uh, the Navy ships. I think that would have helped. Um, I think that's I mentioned that I think in my last uh, workbench update video is um, doing smaller chunks of projects. If I do too much at once, it uh, becomes too much. even working on like these guys weren't so bad, but um, working on these guys going back and forth, back and forth. It's not the way I actually like to paint, um, even though you know I want to use the same colors, same techniques. I think I just have to do one thing at a time. So going forward, I'll just make sure that I do that. Just so I don't you know, burn myself out or like um, uh, you know, strain myself in terms of uh, my desire, my motivation to do things. So anyway, they are done. Um, I am going to work on the bases in the future. I have seen some really cool bases um, done, like painted up really nice. I've also seen ones that just have like um, ground on them like sand and then the little circles where the numbers are are uh, are open I don't know I like that idea too but I I think I'll, I'll paint them like a like a radar screen or something you know that kind of that kind of look if you look around the internet there's people do like some great stuff so I'll probably do something like that anyway um, but they are done for now we're gonna try the game and then um, you know see if I want to pick up any of that the new stuff the uh, they've got the Tau and the other um, uh, Navy ships um, from the, mm, I don't know I'm going to say it, I don't know, the military, the other military ships. Um, I'll probably pick that up at some point. It, uh, definitely if I like the game, if I don't like the game, maybe. <laughs> but, um, 
I have picked up more Rumble Slam characters. So I do have another video I'm going to make right now. Um, so I don't know which one you, if you watch both, which one you have seen first, but um, another um, quarantine lockdown haul video with a bunch of new things and there are more coming. So there's going to be at least one more video from that. Um, anyway, I ordered a bunch of Rumble Slam superstars, which are like the individuals that um, could work for a casino, but you know, they can work for anybody. They, uh, I just bought a bunch because um, I want to get um, a female team while I'm waiting for my all female team uh, to come in from elsewhere. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, it's great. Um, I'm loving the game and I'm loving the models. So I got a bunch and they'll be uh, definitely on the workbench in the near future. So the next update you will probably have seen, you probably will see some of those guys um, complete. I'm also, uh, I've already started cleaning up and I'm um, getting ready to base my Carnival figures. I wanna, I'm gonna base them on their cobblestone bases and then start painting them. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it with this. Um, I'm excited for this one as well. Um, it's going to be a great game. I know it. Uh, hopefully not as great as Rumble Slam because I would hate to have to go back and forth between two awesome games on top of all the other games that I want to play and have models for. So anyway, that's my workbench update. That's what I did. Uh, Carnival and more Rumble Slam coming up. I might start building uh, Gaslands cars. I might start painting uh, Walking Dead figures. I might start uh, assembling um, uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol figures. I've got Burles and Badgers, which I actually will probably do as well. Um, oh my gosh, I have a lot to do. Well, better uh, get to it. I'm gonna go finish some report cards and then get back to painting. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic one until we see you again. Thanks, bye.